Okay, so just in case we don't get all the way finished in class, I made a video. Um, if we get this one done in class, just skip ahead to the next one. Okay, so we have a right triangle here, and the sides are changing. Okay, and they want us to know what is the rate of change of the hypotenuse. Okay, so we said the first thing you should do is you should draw a picture. And remember that this picture is static. It's just a snapshot in time. And the time that they're asking about are when one of the legs is six and the other is eight. Okay. And then they're also talking about the hypotenuse. So sometimes I'm given some information and I can figure out more information based on this little snapshot in time. Okay, so this is a 3, 4, 5, or a 6, 8, 10 right triangle. Remember, that's a Pythagorean triple. So I know the exact length of the hypotenuse right then. Okay, so there's my drawing. And what are the things that I know? Well, I know when I do one of these that leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. So I'm going to call it like leg squared plus leg squared is hypotenuse squared. So um, maybe I'll make this, I could, uh, I could do S and L. Let's do that since the problem gave us the shorter leg and the longer leg. So let's do the shorter leg squared. I'm going to make it like a little um, cursive L so we can tell it's now. Okay, so that's what we know. Let's see what they gave us. The shorter leg is increasing at a rate, okay, so that's a DSDT of four inches per second. Okay, we know that the longer leg, DLDT, is decreasing at a rate of six inches per second. Okay, and then the thing that we want to find, okay, here's what we know, here's what we were given, and here's what we want to find. What is the rate of change of the hypotenuse? Okay, so let's go ahead and differentiate. So the derivative of s squared is 2s ds dt. The derivative of L squared is 2L dL dt. And the derivative of H squared is 2H dH dt. Now, you'll see that we work with triangles a lot. Um, even in other pictures, um, we might have a ladder leaning against a wall. We might have a staircase that has stairs on it that are going up a wall. And so you'll see this formula quite a bit. Now, one thing that I do when I'm working with this is I divide out a two. See how they all have a two? And I will often change it to just this. And I always have students that are like, wait a second, you forgot the twos. And it's because they're going to cancel out. And this is just easier to work with right there. Okay, so let's put what we know. Okay, we know that the smaller side was 6, and ds dt was 4. And the longer side was 8, and dl dt was negative 6. And we know that the hypotenuse was 10, and dh dt, that's the rate that we're looking for. Okay, so we have 24 minus 48 divided by 10 is going to equal dh dt. So negative 24, or we could say um, negative 12 fifths, and we should get into units. So this was measured in inches. So the, this is going to be in inches over time. 
and time was in seconds. Okay. All right, let's look at number three here. So here we have the classic pebble dropped in a calm pond. Okay, so it's causing concentric circles, and we have the radius of the outer ripple is increasing at a constant rate of one foot per second. Okay, when the radius is four feet, at what rate is the total area of the disturbed water changing? Okay, so let's get our picture, and this is just a snapshot, right? The little rock goes in the middle, it's going out, but they told us we're at the particular time when R is four. Okay, now sometimes just beware. Sometimes you're go they go when the area is this given time, and they give you the area, and you have to figure out the radius. Okay, so sometimes just like here, where we had to figure out the hypotenuse, you might have to figure something out. Okay, so we know that area of a triangle, or a triangle of a circle, is pi r squared. Okay, we know that. We know that the rate is increasing at a constant rate of one foot per second. And we're trying to find out what is dA dt. Okay, let's differentiate. I know that dA dt is equal to 2 pi r dr dt. Okay, that's 2 pi. We said at the time when the rate was 4, and we know that dr dt is 1. So there is our dA dt. Now, depending on the problem, you might leave it in terms of pi. If you're asked to round to a certain number, make sure that you use the pi button on your calculator. Do not use 3.14, okay? I'll never, ever, ever use 3.14, always the pi button. Okay, I'm gonna leave this one in terms of pi, and area is in square, and we're dealing with feet. So square feet per inch. And that is the change in our area. Or wait, is it an inch? I'm sorry, it's in seconds. Alrighty. That should do it. Remember that you're going to see some problems on the delta math that they're going to give you the area instead of giving you the radius at a specific point. Remember, take that area find the radius. Put the radius in your picture and then do it just like this. All right, that's it.